So the Sunday Swap ISO has come to a close, but there's still one more chance to get another batch of free Sunday tokens in the reverse ISO. Let's take a look together in the weekly report. Welcome back to Woodland Pools. Today it's time for the weekly report. We're on the road this week and so we don't have our decent camera or even a decent microphone, but what we wanted to do was release this video early this week because of what's going on with the reverse ISO. We wanted to make sure that everybody could take advantage of it before the cutoff on February 19th. So some of you may have already seen this announcement from Sunday Swap Labs where they put out the poll asking, hey, should we do this reverse ISO? And with an overwhelming majority of 83%, people voted in favor of it. And so let's take a look at the details of the reverse ISO and check it out together. So the team put out this blog explaining how they're doing the reverse ISO and their intention of trying to promote decentralization in the Cardano network. And for some background, some might wonder like what even happened here and why are they doing a reverse ISO? Before Sunday Swap's ISO, there was actually an ISO that was run by Meld Labs. And Meld, what they did was they set up several different Meld pools. You would delegate to those pools. And then for delegating, in return, afterwards, you would get some Meld tokens. So the Sunday team, when it was time for them to run their ISO, they said, hey, you know what? Let's try and focus more on decentralization and see how we can do an ISO that is more decentralized than those that came before. So as they say here, instead of running upwards of 100 stake pools themselves, they turned to members of the community to run them instead. And then additionally, instead of them just selecting those members, they ran one of the largest on-chain governance events in Cardano's history and let the community choose. So some of you might remember that a few months ago, we asked you all to vote for us in the Sunday Swap scooper voting, and we really appreciate those of you that took the time. But obviously, we were not selected as one of the top 30 pools or the 10 backup pools. And what ended up coming from that, though, and what they say here is a fair criticism, was that unintentionally it played a pretty serious role in centralizing the Cardano network itself. The result was nearly 7 billion ADA moved away from other pools and went to these top 40 stake pool operators, many of which had multiple pools going as well. And so looking at it not in terms of the actual amount of stake pools, but if you look at it in terms of the actual pool operators, the Nakamoto coefficient, the de facto standard for measuring decentralization, actually dropped from 25 to 22. And a lot of people gave the Sunday Swap team a hard time about this because, yeah, sure, if we look back in retrospect, it seems obvious that if you select of the 3,000 stake pools, if you select 40 of them, and you're giving away free tokens to the most highly anticipated project to only these 40 pools, it seems obvious when you look back that, yeah, of course, it's going to be a huge mass movement of ADA to these top 40 pools. But I think it's probably not fair for us to necessarily jump on them that hard. And let's remember that... They did do this in a much more decentralized way than what Meld was doing, for example. And to their credit, the Sunday Swap team has been very open to criticism and has time and time again made changes to their approaches based on that criticism. And so actually along those lines, their proposal to try and undo some of this damage is the Sunday Swap reverse ISO. So what they're doing is they're setting aside an extra 20 million Sunday, and this is actually not coming from the original treasury that was set aside for the initial ISO. This Sunday is coming directly from the Sunday Swap team itself out of their pocket, and it's going to be delivered to delegators who delegate to any single pool operator that received at least one vote and was not part of those initial 40. And so specifically because of those of you that took time to vote for us in the initial scooper vote, the Aspen stake pool and every other pool that was voted on that didn't make the initial cut is now part of the reverse ISO. So now if you delegate to Aspen or any other approved reverse ISO pool, you will get some free Sunday tokens. So let's take a look at what these pools are and then how you can get involved. If we go to the Sunday Swap ISO dashboard, on February 19th at the Epic Boundary snapshot, there's going to be a snapshot taken and everyone who is delegated to one of these reverse ISO pools listed below is going to get some free Sunday tokens from that 20 million Sunday that was set aside. So you need to make sure that you're delegated to one of these pools before February 19th. If you're already delegated to one of these pools ahead of time, there's nothing else that you need to do. If you're currently delegated to one of the pools that was part of the initial ISO, you do need to move your delegation to one of the pools as part of the reverse ISO. So you can come to this page here and find your preferred pool. We can see Aspen is on the list, but there's almost 200 others. So pick your preferred stake pool and delegate to them before the snapshot on February 19th to get your free Sunday tokens. And also remember, if you want to support more than one reverse ISO pool, using CC Vault, you can delegate to multiple pools using your same wallet by creating new accounts. And while we're talking about delegation, we thought it'd be a good time to stop and say a huge thank you and welcome to all of our newest delegators. We really appreciate your support and we're really excited to go on this journey with you. As we say every time, let's keep growing together. So thank you to all of you who have been coming in. Let your friends know to come join us as well. And hey, if you don't want to join Aspen, join another reverse ISO pool and support decentralization of the Cardano network. Make sure that you delegate to one of these pools before the snapshot on February 19th. And if nothing else, we'll see you next week.